So you're gonna let your better half in? Oh, just get your big butt in here, doctor. I said just come in. And she had all this hair on top of her head. And you can't have that and not know what you're looking to not be a total nut bag. I'll call you back. I yeah. am. You named your duck after me? Of course. I love him. He's ugly. He's blind, deaf, and gassy. Here. Ooh. I was looking for... Ta-da! The red shoes. But aren't they dangerous? Replicas. The real ones are in a box I marked upstairs just for mom and drew a big red heart around it. I'm glad you're home. I hate funerals. But aren't you happy for your baby sister's wedding? Well, it depends. What ugly dress are you putting me in? It's pink. Mm. And Mark's inviting a lot of men, sexy ones. Not too many at once. Now I can tell them you're a doctor, right? It's official. I delivered my first baby on Tuesday. If it'll disturb you and Mark, I can stay somewhere else. No. You're going to listen to our loud animal sex. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're really not. You know, lots of people are getting Breast breasts. implants don't make you happy. Besides, you're too tan, they'll look wooden. You know, Nate says that if they make me happy. Happy, right? Tell him he has to watch every single second of that surgery while doctors cut into my sister's beautiful body. Fine. I'm gonna go to bed. You staying up? Yeah. Okay. crazy in four days. You creepy little loser from hell. You are. Are 
Are you out of your mind? Am I out of my mind? Yeah, you could have killed me. What are you talking about? I've been here. I think I know what my own sister looks like. Oh, because you've seen so much of me? No, I wanted to come and visit you and see you stripping, doing drugs, and- Okay, that's good. I saw you. You were driving like a lunatic wearing a black shirt and- Mm-hmm. I know what my own sister looks like. You stop seeing things? My petite filet mignon? Whatever. Angie, Amy tells me that in addition to being a world-class doctor, that you're also quite the gourmet. You're quite the gourmet. Well, I guess you'll tell me soon enough. Someone's a little grumpers. You're a pearl of a girl. <laughs> Hi. My better half. I thought I was your better half. You're my better half. Hello? Hello? Is that all you have to say? What? I'm sending you your things. What are you talking about? I said, if you did it again- I didn't. I hired a private investigator. My dad's friend? I'm looking at photos of you and... Goodbye, Angie. Nate, he hello? Time for yum yums? I've been practicing for a quarter of a century. It doesn't sound crazy. In fact, it sounds like a very functional metaphor. A metaphor? For your subconscious. But I'm speaking literally, Dr. Corkin. We're both doctors. You really are a lot smarter than you think. I didn't say I suspected I was stupid. You say you're in town for your mother's burial? You say she committed suicide. Yeah, she was crazy. How have you been sleeping? I never sleep well. I told you that. And I don't take drugs. Why not? Well, I used to take Ambien and I took it. Got up, got drunk, went to a reserve and shot a duck in my sleep. Exactly. The subconscious. You say your sister has a duck she named Angie. So, tell me more about your baby sister getting married. I have like an evil twin. You know what, forget it, we're not a good match. <sighs> You've completed medical school, putting yourself through via semi-unconventional methods, returned home, and confronted by the discrepancy, another you manifests. Right. You're being clipped. You are. You see? See? You can't deny the strength of this metaphor, Angie. Your mother was very sick, and your sister is getting married, and your repressed feelings of inferiority- You're projecting your own feelings of inferiority on me! Cutting people into pieces is the definition of sick. I need to see someone I can trust. At night, you were different than in the day. But you got your degree, delivered your first baby on Monday. Nope. Tuesday. A girl. They named her Angela. Lovely. Your mother is, was an outrageous woman. Mad. I see red shoes. Yes. You grew up coming to people like me. 
I, I have like an evil twin who's ruining my life. She was with my boyfriend and she's trying to kill my sister. Everything's going to be okay. I see this sister of yours. Very pretty. Everyone always says she's the pretty one. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Two beautiful girls with the same blue eyes. Go to the wedding. Wear the pretty pink dress and meet yourself a nice young man. Just count backwards from 100 and it will be over before you know it. 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95. Just relax. Everything will be okay. Just relax and trust us. Trust us. You would never be to harm you. <laughs> Vicodin gives you vivid dreams. Dr. Angina, report to your hot sister's house immediately. You're wearing your wedding dress, aren't you? No. You probably slept in it. Whatever, just get your butt over here. Okay, you're the best. Your sister, you need to get out. 